I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently, you can see I have uploaded more video on the many video on Raspberry Pi, Arduino, then Python programming, then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career. So if you want to learn something from me, it is free, and you have to just click on this subscribe button. And all the video, it is it is very unique, and you will learn definitely many things from me. I upload a mostly video on Raspberry Pi, mostly video on IoT, then Arduino. There are different types of project I have explained, and each project having the programming part. So please subscribe my channel, please support me, and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video. Hello friend, in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a automatic QR code based gate open and gate close system by using Raspberry Pi on actual hardware. So before start this video, I would like to tell you the protest simulation of this same project already available in my channel. So you can see on the thumbnail and I will provide the that video link in the description so if you want the protest simulation of the same project you can watch that video and you can develop and design the simulation of this project now in this video we will learn how we can design and develop that the project on actual hardware so you can see on the screen we have the raspberry pi then we have the camera then we have the dc motor and then we have the lcd so basically i would like to tell you what will be what will be the flow of this project so we have the qr code in our mobile you can see three qr code two qr code are valid and one qr code are invalid so when i scan the valid qr code from this camera the raspberry pi detect that qr code and it will allow get open if the qr code is valid so if i scan invalid qr code through the camera then raspberry pi show on the screen it is invalid qr code and get will be not open so this is the complete idea behind this project or this is the complete uh, flow of this project now we will see the practical demonstration of this project then after that we will see the hardware connection of this project and then after that we will see the program part of this project so this video may be the 30 minutes video or 40 minutes video but from this video you will definitely design and develop this project by yourself okay now we will see the practical demonstration of this project now you can see you will able to see the two screen in one screen you can able to see the hardware connection and in the second screen you can see uh, my face so basically i have placed the camera just upward down so that i can scan my qr code like this so that you can easily able to see i am scanning the qr code live here so that is the intention of this two screen so you can see when i start the project i again start the project So when you can see when I start the project the first name present on LCD is welcome then after that project name QR code automatic gate that is present on the LCD then after that it is asking the scan the code. So now I am scanning the code you can see live I am scanning the code. So first code I am scanning the valid QR code. So now like this I am placed on my mobile. So it will scan this code by camera. Wait for some second it will scan the code. So you can see valid person get open and get closed. Now it will open and get closed by three times. I will tell you why this three times in the program explanation. Now you can see if I scan the invalid QR code. Now I am scanning the invalid QR code. So you can see on the LCD it is showing invalid QR code and get will be not open and get will be not closed. So this is the complete idea behind this project. I hope you understand the complete project flow. Now we will see the hardware connection of this project and then we will see the program part of this project. So before start the hardware connection, I would like to tell you, uh, you can see in my previous video, this is the face mask detection video. I will provide the video link in the description of this video. So in this video, you can see I have already connected LCD model. You can see this LCD model. Then after that, you can see I have already connected the, this DC motor model and this camera model with the raspberry pi you can see this is the raspberry pi i have connected all the models like lcd dc motor raspberry pi camera in this video so uh, to connect this lcd dc motor and camera with raspberry pi you can watch this video please ignore the temporary sensor ADD buzzer you will you will not require this in your code qr code code uh, qr code project so ignore this connection so at the starting only i uh, at the so at the starting only I have explained this three logic this one this one when this video hardware connection started so by following this video you can easily able to connect 
LCD DC motor and Raspberry Pi in a one shot. So I will provide this video link in the description. Please watch this video and make your circuit by your own. So another important part you can see there is a LCD model. You uh, I have also used the same LCD model in my QR code project. So how to design this LCD model? I have already explained in my this video interface LCD model with Arduino Pi how to use the breadboard. So in this video I have explained how to connect that LCD model on the breadboard. You will see the Arduino. So ignore that Arduino. There is no use of Arduino also. You can follow this video and you will find the connection pin here and if you have any struggle how to how to design this circuit then definitely you will watch this video and you will get idea so basically two video you, you have to watch first video is this one so in this video you will find this connection and second video is this one all the video link i will give one in the description okay now we will see the importance of each and every line from the code so first line you can see from cv2 import star so basically we require the cv2 library to scan the qr code so to to use that library we need this line then import time so basically if you want to add some delay in your code then you require this library the next part is import raspberry pi dot gpio gpio so basically if you want to use the any gpio pins in the raspberry pi from the raspberry pi then you require this library then the next library is gpio dot set set mode gpio board so basically raspberry pi use as a uh, complete board as complete bcm chip so if you want to use raspberry pi as a complete board then you can use this line then next line is gpio dot set warning to the false so when a raspberry pi runs then each and every time raspberry pi gives you warning that whatever the gpio pin you have used this already that pin already used before so to avoid that warning you should use gpio dot set warning to the false so user qr code 1 2 3 so basically we have three qr code so each qr code having number 77211235 or 77772 so whatever the qr code that will generate that number will be stored here i will show you how to generate a qr code after some time and then how to place that number here as per your reference then com port 0 as i told if i want to use the uh, raspberry pi camera then you can use com port as a 1 if you are using the usb camera like me then you can use com port as a 0 then we are creating the uh, variable by using that variable we are accessing the camera so to create that object or variable we will use this line uh, video capture com port and cam then after that file name so basically when the camera capture the uh, when the camera capture the qr code then qr code store into one file that file name is qr code dot image dot png so you can see when i open the folder you can see that file name also there then after that we have connected the all the pins lcd rs7 11 12 d4 12 13 15 16 then uh, D, uh, dc motor pin to 31 then dc motor pin to the 32 so as per the hardware connection we have connected all the pins here okay next line is this one from line number 23 so you can see from line number 23 to line number this one line number 136 that is near about 100 line of code uh, that line of code i have already explained in my one video the video is this one simulation of lcd and temporary sensor using raspberry pi so in this video i have explained what is the logic behind that each and every line so if you want if re, if you really want to understand that code then you can watch this video this video link also i will provide in the description okay now the main part our code started you can see next line is this one sleep then lcd byte then we are clearing the lcd by this line then we are printing our uh, uh, whatever the project code on the lcd line number one all the on the lcd and line number two qr code is present uh, uh, display on the line number one an automatic gate will be displayed on line number two by using this uh, four line then after that we are opening the camera by using this camera read and once the camera open camera capture the image then image store into this image variable then after that we are storing that image variable into qr image.png file so there is a line i am right qr code image.png file into our image so whatever the image live image that capture gets stored into qr code.png file then after that we have to read that file so that cv2.im read function is used so image is read and the variable gets stored into this image variable then after that we have to detect the qr code so how to detect the qr code by using this simple line cr qr code detector so basically it will detect the qr code and by using this line it will find the number of qr code exactly 
what is the number inside that QR code. Then after that, if the QR code is blank, then it will not execute this line. If there is a number inside QR code, then that QR code number gets stored into this data variable. You can see this data variable from this line. Then we are comparing our first QR code, user QR code is equal to data variable. Second QR code is equal to data variable or third QR code is equal to data variable. So any one of this QR code number gets matches from this data, then that means it is the valid user. So I will tell you again what is the flow. So basically image capture. So this is real time image when we place the, our phone in front of the camera, then this QR code image gets captured and stored into this image variable. And this image variable is read and by using this line, we are finding the QR code from that image and that image QR code gets stored into this data variable. And we already has given our number to our program that is user QR code 1, 2, 3. So whatever QR code you are generating that number is already present in the code. So we are comparing that data one by one here. And if any one of data gets validated, then we have to print on the LCD valid user. So you can see how to print on the LCD by using this three line LCD string valid user get open. So on the line number one, valid user gets printed on line number two get open will be printed then after that we have to turn on the dc motor so how to turn on the dc motor just we have to pass the high low signal on the dc motor pin so gpr dot output motor pin one low gpr dot output motor pin tool uh, high so basically it will turn on the dc motor after some time it will rotate anti-clockwise that dc motor and after some time it will stop the dc motor by passing the low low signal so let's say if there is a uh, invalid qr code detected by this line and data gets stored that is unknown number gets stored then none of this number get matches then else part will execute and any valid user gets printed on the lcd and dc motor will not open and will not close the gate then after that if the qr code not match then we have to print on the lcd scan the qr codes that's why there is the else logic here so you can see this is the first logic and this is the else logic so this is the complete idea behind this project so i hope you understand the program flow of this project from chrome or any browser you can open the google and just search online create the qr code so once you search online create qr code you can see you will find many option here qr code generator qr code generator so you can select any this one like qr code generator so once i select this one qr code generator you can use same uh, this on the mobile and you can download a qr code on the mobile also by using your mobile browser so again go to the free text then after that you can provide your value one two three four it is my first password so again that you can see download there is option download so once i click download you can give the number one two three four here and png and download so once i download the qr code is generated here for this one two three four now our second password is double nine double two so you can use second password as a double nine double two and then again free text then click on this download button then again here you can give name double nine double two you can also uh, use the same method on your mobile also so two image it will create it that means two qr code is generated now you can open that qr code and you can see yes qr code is generated or not so you can see qr code is generated so by using this simple method you can able to create the qr code and you can generate the qr code so uh, now i will tell you how you can run this project so first important part is you can uh, download my file from my google drive link the google drive link given in the description so first download this file so you can see this folder you have to download from my google drive link qr code password get hardware so this is the folder name in that folder you will find this dot py file qr code password get program file so double click on this program file so once you double click on this program file you have to uh, run this program so before run this program you, you have to install the cv2 library in your raspberry pi so how to install the cv2 library in raspberry pi already i already explained in my many video and if you don't find the solution you can just go to the google and search how to install the cv2 library in raspberry pi in short i can show you when there is one command like this okay now I, I will show you how to install the cv2 library in python uh, in raspberry pi basically so you can see there is one document file this document file i will store the document file again in my google drive link the name is important notes so uh, or yeah, the name is this one uh, commands you can see commands once you open this file let's say once you open this file you will find three command so first command you have to type you again copy this command go to 
this one your black window and type this first command here copy and paste like this copy and then here paste so like copy and paste and press enter then again second command you can copy after this command run copy this paste there again third command you can copy this if this command don't work then you can type this command sudo apt-get install python opencv so this is three command you may use to install the opencv if this command fail then you can go to the google and search how to install the cv2 library in the pi in the raspberry pi so yeah this is a simple way so this library you have to install then after you install that library by using that command just click on this run button so once you click on this run button just wait for some second you can see the code start working here I hope you have done the connection. So you can see reading QR code. So in this way you can run your project. Now you can see a very important part. Second part is camera port. So camera port I have used zero because I have I have used USB camera. If you are using the Raspberry Pi camera, then here you you may have to pass the one or minus one. So it is very important to understand how to change the camera port as per your reference. So in this way you can run this project by yourself.